Hey, Schultz here again with Yards for Fantasy and going to keep diving into wide receiver free agent class here. And today we're talking DJ Chark. After four up and down seasons in Jacksonville, DJ Chark signed a one year prove it deal. Passed off season with Detroit, appearing in 11 games due to injury. Chark posted 30 catches for 502 yards and three touchdowns in his lone season with the Lions. He's battled injuries throughout his whole career, but he has proven he can be a playmaker in the league when he's healthy. Will the Lions make an attempt to bring him back is the real question. DJ Chark is still only 26 years old. Got a projected spot track market value of nine and a half million dollars. Potential successors on the roster. You've got Amon Ra St. Brown, the sun god. He's still got two years left on his contract, uh, his rookie deal, and I think that's pretty safe to assume they'll be looking to extend him. Uh, Jamison Williams got three years left on his rookie deal. And as a first rounder, he'll get a fifth year option if they want. Other than that, you got Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond and Quintez Cephas all on one year deals. Well, all have one year left on their deals. DJ's really had an interesting career. He's, he's shown flashes of being a really nice X receiver, shown times where you, you question if he's the guy and spent plenty of time on IR. I think it makes a really interesting case for, for Chark this offseason. On one hand, I, I wouldn't be shocked if you see the Lions being aggressive to bring him back. I, I don't think he's going to have the market like Jacoby Myers or Alan Lazard, but he certainly could rival their ceilings if he stays healthy and all his chips fall in the right place. Now, that's a tall order, but hey. On the other hand, wouldn't shock me at all to see the Lions let him test the market and just walk for some of the reasons I mentioned before these the injuries really I mean even in the lone season with the Lions he he was only appeared in 11 games he has only had one a thousand yard season in his five-year career it was in 2019 with Jacksonville when he posted career highs in all three major receiving categories 73 catches a thousand and eight yards and eight touchdowns with a career yards per reception of 14.4. He's shown a knack for some downfield playmaking ability, but I do carry some concern with his catching ability overall. As a Jags fan, I watched him play a lot, and it, it, at times it really seemed like he just had some concentration issues, some dropsies, whatever you want to call it. And he's got a career catch percentage of 55.8%, which kind of backs that up. I know he's never really truly played in like an ideal situation, but it still concerns me. I want to say Chark resigns with the Lions. Uh, he really did seem happy to be playing there, um, which he definitely wasn't in Jacksonville. And I, I think that's going to be a big deal to him. On the flip side, wouldn't shock me at all for a team to fall in love with his traits um, and the ceiling he might offer. And then he would be really stupid to turn a huge deal down. However, my official guess is going to say he stays with the Lions on like a two to three year deal. He's already comfortable with golf. Uh, him and uh, St. Brown have they have complementary skill sets. And then especially with Jamison, throw him in the mix and could be a really fun group. For fantasy, in the optimal environment, Chark could really provide nice value. Well, a nice ceiling. Regardless, I think uh, he provides nice value. He's going to go really, really late in your redrafts to the point where it's minimal risk anyways. Dynasty, if you're a believer in his talent and wherever, whatever his new situation might be, I, I bet you could buy a cheap flyer uh, on, on DJ Chark. Let me know in the comments where you think he's going to be playing next year. <laughs>